So this is my review of the Pump and Splash Shady Oasis, manufactured by Step 2 and sold from Costco. Because of our high wind area, we found it best to put it in the garage for now, and uh, kids don't care. So, they've been playing with it for a while, and I have some thoughts on it. What's that, Sissy? Okay, what do you need? You want that one, Paul? Okay, where's the little bucket? You want that one? Smaller than that? I already have my little bucket. Okay, let me see. Hmm? Yay! Hmm. Sissy, stop that. No! Sissy, come put it under here. Oh, yeah. Right there. Back a little bit more. There you go. There you go. So my complaints are kind of with the pump. Well, the first complaint anyway. Notice how much he's pumping. Notice how little water's coming out. It's, it could be better. I wish it was. The other thing, if you notice how it's moving around, it's hard for them to keep it straight. So if you notice when he pumps, on uh, his top stroke there when the water actually starts flowing is when the torque on the handle forces it over kind of that way and he just waters the floor instead of on the table. I kind of wish they put a lock in here to keep the pump fixed where you want it or maybe a little thumb screw so the adult could determine where it should go. But free floating the way it is now, not really ideal. It does work fine, it's just not the most efficient pump design. So this little chamber, when you go down, it sucks water and fills up a little hole on top. You can kind of see how it works now. So we go down, fills up, pump again. Anyway, you can see the water now flowing, so how this works. I mean, it's fine. It's probably a durable pump enough for them. But let's say we're done, right? There you go, sis. I let go of the handle. It springs back down because that is full of water. So I don't like how it hangs up because if they're going to run by it, they're probably going to smack into it. I would like it to rest downwards, but what are you going to do? I wouldn't care so much if that pump just stayed put. Aiden, why don't you pump it into the green top? So, I mean, they'll get the hang of it someday. But it takes a long time to fill this little green top up with water. Which brings me to my next, uh, not issue, but thing. These aren't really fixed at all, which is good for kids so they can, you know, play with them as they see fit. The problem is if you don't actually use them, good luck. Let me demonstrate. Will you fill that up for me? And it just goes off. <laughs> you see what I mean? 
So you see what I mean? They could be a little firmer so they don't fly away like that and the kids can actually enjoy them. I mean, they work, but I think some improvements could be made. I've developed a workaround so I don't have to sit here and pump it all day anymore. Now, one thing I would like to say is we've been looking for something like this for a while because they have water tables, but all it is is a, basically a standing pool of water. The kids want moving water to play with and this does that perfectly. Wait, so with this, we have moving water. So even with all of its faults, it does that perfectly. If this was a water table, they would already be bored with it, even though they've had been playing with it for nearly an hour. So it does do that. It just it has some faults. Now the little drawbridge thing, as I like to call it, it has a little rubber flapper here. So when the water hits it, it kind of channels it down. Now you would think that rubber flapper would do a little more. As you can see, it just shows water everywhere anyway. So I don't know what the point of the rubber gasket is. All right, put it down. Well, that works. I guess I wouldn't call it a gasket, more of like a, a flapper. Hey, what are you, what are you doing? I'm trying to make it empty. Why do you want it empty? I'm trying to leave the water. You want the hose back on? So he wants the hose back in there so it has the constant flowing water. I turned it off and told him it was full because, you know, this was full. He's like, oh, I'll make it empty because he wants the flowing water, but they're not about to sit here and pump it. Dad, please help me. What do you need me to do? This one. You want me to do it? Keep going. So now that I've showed them the hose, they pretty much refuse to work the pump. They just want the hose in. So she's filling up the uh, bucket using my garden hose pump that I have rigged up. And now they're having fun. The canopy top, the poles, the fittings, everything about the canopy top notch. The other thing too, like I said, we're in a high wind area, so we were concerned the wind was going to hit it and just kind of peel it up. They thought of that because it has a built-in little relief thing here. So wind's not going to, I mean our winds, you know, when it, it hit 50 and stuff, yeah, but a little breeze isn't going to really be a problem with that top. Also, if it comes in here, it might actually catch that leak and some airflow down to them in the summertime. So it's a pretty good, pretty good top design really good for a kid's toy. In fact, when we were putting it together, I said, you know, in a few years time when this thing's, they're done with it and don't play with it anymore, we can then put the top on something else, which I fully plan to do. Also, it's strong enough where I can put a solar panel up here. Reason being, a solar powered fountain pump probably do this thing great. This water wheel he's playing with, it does almost the water wheel here does almost nothing. So our green top thing here is, I don't know, inch and a half full of water. Pull the little bridge there, the little gate, let the water rush through and you can see what that wheel does. What? Hey, sis. What? Watch out. Move your hand. Look at it go. What? The wheel. Here, put this back. No, no, this one. Put that there. Let it fill up with water and put the duck right here. <laughs> it also still comes through the little thing here. I kind of wish it did. I wish when that was in there, stop the water flow, but I guess it's fine. I want you to pump. Well, they're done playing with it for now. They're inside drying off and watching TV. 
So that's it. I think it's worth having. It's pretty neat. I haven't seen anything else really like it. Probably worth the purchase. I'll probably use it for a summer too. But I really do think my electric pump conversion that I want to add to it, I think that will make it a lot better for him.